Greetings everybody, Dream here and welcome back to Star Stable. It has been a long, 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 long time since I actually did a recording that has my voice in it. Boy, it's been a long time. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on, as I usually say, and I'm just going to try and get back to doing at least videos for events. Um, I have, in the past couple of weeks, months, whatever you want to call it, I have posted a couple of videos that were related to a couple of events, and I do want to get around to talking about some of those events and my thoughts and opinions on them. However, today is update day, and we are going to play the uh, festival that's going on. It is called Midsummer. Now, many of you probably remember that some of my first videos that used this character, Miss Luna Dream Camp, actually were very, very choppy and very, very poor. Um, I can't guarantee that the, the quality of this video is going to be that great either. I still need to mess with my OBS settings. However, you we should not get any choppiness. Yay. Um... With that said, I chose to use Luna for this because that was one of the first festivals that Luna actually got to participate in, and it just seemed like a fair idea to go ahead and run the festival with her again. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So I already ran the festival on my main account, so I should know where everything is, and I will try to read slowly enough that I don't stumble, but I will be honest, I have had problems with um, enunciating things lately. So if I mispronounce something, that's going to be it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to speak with the ranger here. I'm not going to 100% try to say names because I can't pronounce them. Midsummer is when we celebrate the long days of summer with family and friends. The festival is beloved throughout Northern Europe, but no, now nowhere is it more popular than here in Jorvik. This year's Midsummer celebration is being organized by the Jorvik Rangers, as it is every year, and is set to be Jorvik's biggest yet. We're almost set up, but there are a few more tasks left. Do you think you and your horse could help out? All right. Yes, we can. That's the spirit. There are three stations where my colleagues can use your assistance. What's his name is in charge of raising the midsummer pole. Our fire safety expert, Ashley, is in charge of the bonfire. Finally, I put Dylan in charge of setting up the banquet tables. With your help, the party will begin in no time. I can't pronounce that one ranger's name. This one I think is Marisol, but the other ranger I cannot pronounce their name. Um, and that's the one with the, the pole, the, uh, the midsummer pole. So this is D uh, Dylan. Oh, great. You must be the volunteer Marisol promised me. I'm in charge of the Midsummer Banquet. There's going to be salmon from South Hoof, herring from Cape West, potatoes from Steve's, and fresh berries from Miss Fall. I can't wait to stuff my face. Not that I would touch anything until the guests are finished. Ha <laughs> ha. In any case, before we can set out the food, Someone needs to set up the tables and chairs. You'll help with that, won't you? Thomas Moreland was kind enough to offer some folding chairs and tables from his stable. He should have a set of them out, so you, all you need to do is ride down with your horse and pick them up. And I'm going to go ahead and talk to this guy. You can't celebrate Midsummer without a Midsummer pole. It needs to be tall enough to be 
He is seen from far away, but also wide and strong enough to last through the weeks of partiers dancing around and around. It so happens there is a perfect pole just down the way by old Jasper's farmhouse. I checked with the owner, and he says we're more than welcome to take it. It's too heavy for me to carry, but I see you have a good strong horse. Maybe the two of you can fetch the pole up there, up here. All right. Yes, we can. And I like going between all of the rangers first before I go collect the stuff. It just makes it faster. And of course, Miss Pyromaniac here, Ashley. Every Midsummer Festival needs a bonfire to keep the party going into the night. So we should just gather up some logs, douse them with lighter fluid, and get our flame on, right? Wrong! Fire is not something we rangers take lightly. One spark is all it takes to turn a forest into cinders. And that's why this year we're, go oh, we're doing things my way, the safe way. I already picked out the site for the bonfire, 18 meters from any trees or buildings. Now we need some kind, some kindling to serve as the foundation for the fire. Old Jasper offered up some spare lumber that he's been storing by the farmhouse over yonder. That should do nicely. Could you and Gold Dust bring it up, bring it up here, help bring it up here? You'll use proper lifting techniques getting those logs onto your horse, right? Of course you will. We're sisters in safety. Okie dokie. So all this stuff is not hard to find. I will say that this is the last year they will have the Midsummer Festival as it is. And it's supposedly supposed to be combined with the new summer primary next year. We'll see. Um, at least that's the assumption. <coughs> Excuse me. And you'll probably hear my keyboard while in the recording because my microphone actually has to be kind of close to the keyboard. I'm gonna wear headphones more often while playing this game because I can hear way more sounds than I can with my speakers. Okay, and <laughs> physics logic in games. I one year I used a pony for doing all this, and I felt sorry for the pony. All right, and I hope that this is recording. <laughs> if it isn't, I'm going to be in trouble. Because then I'll have to use my last character that I really have been trying not to um, record or give name to. But we'll see. Alrighty. Let's start back over here. Dylan? No, that's all. Nice work with the tables and chairs. Remind me to thank Thomas later. He's been so helpful with the festivities this year. He's been so helpful with the festivities this year. Said something about making sure the girls who come to his writing camp see Jorvik at its best. Speaking of Jorvik's best, let's get the banquet set up. Alright, and I'm actually going to just run on foot now. Not so bad. Perfect. Now we just need to get, need to decorate it. Okay. And if anybody knows the ranger's name that's for the uh, the midsummer poll, how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments because I don't know. <laughs> no. Alright, from Ranger Ashley. 
Perfect. Our bonfire is off to a great start. As a bonus, we took care of a fire hazard at Jasper's farmhouse. A double win for safety. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to Ranger Ashley again. We need more fuel to make sure this fire blazes long into the night. And I know just where to find it. There's a Jed construction site nearby with plenty of good lumber. You and Goldust are going to take it. Stealing? No way. The Yorvik Rangers are government servants. I'm simply commandeering that lumber for public good. Trust me, it'll be fine. And I know it's actually pronounced G-E-D, but I've gone into the habit of saying Jed. All right, Dylan. All right, movable feast. James at Fort Pinta is generously sponsoring the food for the banquet. He just sent me a text saying that everything is ready for pickup. So maybe you can ride down to Fort Pinta and pick it up. It should be waiting for you next to the disco. And then, of course, the last thing. A good party is a loud party. We're expecting a big turnout this year, at this year's party. It's going to be through the... It's going to be tough to hear the music over everyone's laughing and having fun. A good party is a loud party. Am I right? I want people to feel the uns, uns, uns in their bones. Okay. Fortunately, James also offered to let us borrow speakers from Fort Penta Disco for use of the Midsummer stage. Think you can pick those up as well? I know I am butchering some pronunciations. <laughs> Alright, leaves for the poll. We wrap the midsummer poll in fresh green leaves to celebrate the season. There are plenty of branches in the woods between here and Moreland Stables. We'll need a lot of leaves, so take your horse and gather as many as the two of you can carry. And then, of course, flowers for color. A proper midsummer pole is decorated with wildflowers to showcase the beauty of summer. I don't think Thomas Moreland would mind if you pick some flowers from the woods nearby. Why don't you and your horse go pick some, go and pick some good mix of blooms? Once you've wrapped leaves around the pole, you can use those flowers to decorate it. Alrighty here, and gold dust, where are you? You're still all the way over there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make this easy for myself. Moreland Stable is my home stable for this account, so I can just call pick up. Alrighty here. And I'm just clicking as fast as I can. It's not very accurate. Alright. And it does not matter which colors of flowers you grab, you just grab some. Okay, I gotta get more leaves. Okay. Now we're gonna go up to the Jed site. <clears throat> One of the reasons I stopped talking in my videos is because I have a problem with, um, with talking for a long time. Um, it causes an issue with my breathing, so that's why you guys haven't heard me in a long time. Come on, pick that up. <clears throat> Alright, and got three more logs to get.
And I'll get this as well. All right. Now we're going to go all the way to Fort Penta. <gasps> Hi, Jasper. Bye, Jasper. <laughs> I haven't said that in a long time. Yes, I still have not done the quest to get Jasper out of Moreland. Um, I decided after a certain point with this character that I wasn't going to record videos anymore and I was just going to try to get the character done with as many side quests as possible and still leave some of my main quest in the running. So, as of right now, I still have not done the quest with uh, Sabine and Khan in Silverglade Equestrian Center. Mm. And that's all on purpose. I actually should probably um, take a picture of Sabine. Alright, yay, gold dust. <clears throat> and this is just as ridiculous. I wonder, do I have clearance? Do I have clearance? Uh, yeah, I have clearance. <laughs> oh. As much as I hate that the festival is, for Midsummer is pretty much dull, um, nothing to do, I get that in real life it actually has more to it and more meaning to it. It's just in game it's not executed as well as it should be. Or could be, I should say. Um, I actually do live in an area that does not celebrate Midsummer. So, it doesn't really hold much meaning to me. Which might not make a couple people happy, but you know what? That's just fine. Alright, Dylan, let's go ahead and talk to you. Smells so good. I could eat the banquet my myself. Okay, okay. I'll wait till everyone else has had some first. <laughs> Alright, and last thing. No, that's all. Now we're ready to pump up the volume. This midsummer party is going to be off the chain. Alright, Dylan has something else. My favorite thing about Midsummer is how happy everyone looks running around in the sunshine. This year we're spreading some joy by sending out Midsummer greetings to people you may have met from all around Yarvik. Alright, and all we simply have to do is go drop these in the mailbox. And all you have to do is click. I want to say originally you had to actually put the letters in the mailbox, but they've kind of streamlined some of it now. Thank you for your help, Luna. It feels great to spread the midsummer cheer. I can't help but feel cheerful when the sun's shining all day long. Alright. I think I actually have to have my horse nearby to drop these off. The pole is looking great. Now it's time to decorate. All right. Wonderful. This will be the most impressive midsummer pole yet. <clears throat> and of course, standing inside of other players. 
The midsummer pole is looking great, but I can't help but feel that it's missing something. I know! Flower wreaths! Flower wreaths are the final touch our pole needs to celebrate the tradition to celebrate the traditional way. So it, it so happens I've set up a workstation for guests to make their own flower crowns. You can use that to assemble the wreaths as well. Head over to the flower crowns workstation and make four wreaths for our pole. And I'm just gonna run. Two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> no, that's not Splendid. Let's place them on the pole. <clears throat> There's only one thing left to do. It's time to raise the pole. We'll do it together. On my mark. Three, two, one. Just look at that. The finest midsummer pole in all of Jorvik. And a perfect setting for the frog dance. You remember the moves, right? <laughs> uh, I don't want to do the frog dance. <clears throat> Alrighty. That should be enough wood to get us started. I'm pretty sure Kima from Mistfall will be bringing more wood later from the trails she's cleared. Okay, this party's about to heat up. <clears throat> Time to get this baby burning. Normally I would insist on lighting it myself for maximum safety, but considering how much you helped, Perhaps you'd like the honor. Of course. <clears throat> and light her up. Yes! Yes! Burn! 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 Ahem! <coughs> Ahem! <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes I get a little carried away. Um, good job with the fire. Very safe. <laughs> I hope I'm not too loud in waking everybody up. <laughs> All right, Marisol. Before we break out the sparkling juice, there's one last de little detail that will make this midsummer for Jorvik to remember. Can you guess? That's right, someone has to place the Jorvinigan flag on top of the midsummer pole. I know I just butchered that word. You outdid yourself volunteering, which is why we think the honor of raising the flag should go to you. Here you are. Go ahead and climb up there, Luna. You can do it. All right, that's setting up the Midsummer Festival. Uh, in previous years, they actually had XP for the player character, but this year they did not include the XP. Uh, the, it's one of their temporary ways of trying to lessen the gap between new players and older players, which is kind of making people mad, to be honest. Some people are happy about it, but some people are not very happy about it. Um, my main character is almost level 22 and she can't level up with these events now, so we have to wait until we get actual quest. 
sniffle. I always tear up a little when I see the Jorvinigan flag wave. Even if you're not from Jorvik, any young lady with a love for horses can call Jorvik home. We're all family here, and that's why this is going to be the best Midsummer Festival ever. <clears throat> now let's start the music and break out, break out the banquet. Let the Midsummer Festival begin! Okay. <coughs> so, of course, that is the Midsummer Festival. There are a couple other things. First and foremost, there's only two more things left. The fishing pond and the uh, little summer tent over there. This is the first year they've had the fishing pond back. Um, I believe they had it missing for about two years. <laughs> I'm not getting off my horse. So we got a helmet. It's called the Lakeside Daydream Helmet. And it is max stats. Pretty good. Alright. You get um, 10 items from that thing from the fishing and so you just have to go 10 days and you should get all 10 items but we don't know yet how much they butchered it um, after the uh, scandal with Sean or Khan however you want to pronounce his name yeah it's kind of iffy on what we're gonna get all right welcome to the midsummer tent this tent is said to be something. This tent is said to sometimes grant whoever enters a vision of someone close to you. Maybe even the love of your life. You will need to collect seven unique flowers before entering, however, and you will find them hidden in hidden spots around the festival area. This gives you nothing. Um, it's just a little fun activity and you only get to do it once. So we got one flower here. One flower by the fishing. One flower is actually by the mailbox. Well, actually not by the mailbox, so close to the mailbox. We got another flower here by the stage. <clears throat> That's four. <clears throat> we got a flower behind the stage. That's five. A flower up here. That's six. And the last flower is behind this fence over here. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. That's all seven. All right. You have found the seven flowers. Please enter the tent and await the vision. The vision's always the same. <laughs> All right. That is actually it. So that was the Midsummer Festival. Um, it's pretty standard. That's pretty much how it's been this whole past few years. I don't even think that the reefs are available. Um, they usually have reefs that you can make, but I don't think 
they have them this time around. No, there's no reefs this time. Mm. <coughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, we don't get to do reefs. Or that may be, fortunately. But you know what? That's perfectly fine. This is actually one of the quickest festivals to do uh, out of all of the Jorvik festivals. And it's one of the ones that they're going to be changing next year. So that's a good thing for some and a bad thing for others because some people don't want things to change. I'd say change it, change it, change it, change it, please, for the love of Jorvik, change this festival. It's not a bad festival, but it is very, very bare bones, lackluster. There is nothing to do with this festival. Um, you just set it up, and if you're not the type to want to stand on that stage or dance around the summer pole, then you're kind of um, lacking things to do. <clears throat> so, yeah. <clears throat> that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully next year we get to see how Star Stable rehashes this fe re Ashes? Creates? Whatever you want to call it. How they redo this festival. Um, I'm sure it's going to be combined with the uh, the summer primary festival they are going to be planning for next year. I know that when they did the announcement about the festivals, they said maybe they'll do a Renaissance Space Festival for summer. We will see. Uh, for now, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.